Hi everybody, I am going to be doing a playthrough, probably a very quick playthrough, only because I I don't have the strategy down yet for this one, and so I'll probably die pretty quickly, um, so we'll, we'll just see how that goes. Um, I'm going to have the, the manual, the rule book here for Hunted. Um, handy because I'll probably need to refer back to it quite often so bear with me there but um, you know while I set up this game this is Hunted Kobayashi Tower by Gabe Barrett um, actually came across this game only a, a few weeks ago before I decided to purchase this um, because I really liked the card aspect and of course the dice um, You'll know there's probably in many of my videos that it will be mainly dice or card focused. And, um, you know, those are just two, two types of mechanics that I really enjoy in, in games. And I also prefer games that are fairly quick. Although you, you might see some um, games where they, they will be an hour long or, or, or longer. Um, so we'll, we'll have some, some more videos up with, with that. Um, but right now I am setting up for the game and you basically have these uh, counters here for your starting weapon which is a handgun so you get three three ammo um, three reloads and you always start with four d6s so I'll just go ahead and put those th these three tokens um, to signify the the ammo for the handgun and then I'll place the four d6s right on top and this will signify that I have these four bullets in this handgun ready to go and then we also start off with this chocolates card and this basically allows me to discard this card to re-roll any number of dice that i just rolled so i'm guessing this could be for a a fight an attack or um just a test um a test roll so we'll, we'll have some instances of that and then we have this big deck of cards um some of which are actually location cards so i'm going to separate them out this is the back of the location cards. This is the location icon. And there's just various locations here. The roof is the goal. We want to get to the roof and we want to be able to kill this guy who's taken, um, according to the story, who's taken my wife. So his name is Lars and he has my wife. And I need to find him on the roof. I have to travel through a bunch of location locations, which means I have to hopefully be able to sift through this pretty quickly. Um, before time runs out, because um, you'll see, oh, well, while I'm doing the location cards, you're supposed to take the last two cards on the bottom of the shuffle deck, shuffle the roof in, so it's definitely one of the last three cards in the deck, and then I'll go ahead and just, just place it right here, the location deck right here, um, and then we'll go ahead and provide myself two test die, so we have Two, if I have at least four health. If I have three health or less, I can only do tests with one die. So um, we do start off with two. And then I do want to show you this um, this little player board here. It has these like uh, indentations to, to make sure your cube doesn't go anywhere. Um, this tracks your health and this tracks your time. And time will be spent on a couple of things. Whenever you roll dice to fire a weapon or toss a grenade, you lower this by one. Um, whenever you reload your weapon, you lower by one. Um, uh, you decrease by one. And then um, if you're instructed to do so, whether it's from an event or from a test, um, you would just follow those directions as well. And then also if you wanted to hide, you can also um, decrease your time accordingly. Um, so I'll go ahead and shuffle the hunted deck. This is what the back looks like. Um, so we'll we'll go and, and and see how how this goes. I'm not confident that I'm going to win. So definitely do not do not you know follow my strategy. But hopefully I do get at least eighty percent of the rules right. I've only really played a full game of this once. Um, but I thought you know why not just do a playthrough while while I while I um, have the rules fresh in my mind. Like I said, I have the, the rule book here and we'll get uh, we'll get started now. Um, so the game really just, you flip 
and you kind of decide how you want to spend um, some of the resources that you find after you flip. So the first card we have is Sergeant Pratt. If I were to acquire this card, um, I could flip this card to discard a terrorist card as it's drawn. And from this icon, this icon means this person is a hostage, which means I can actually take it into my inventory here, um, which I can house items, weapons, or hostages such as Sergeant Pratt. The left side determines the things that um, it can be used to spend with. So um, if something needed a cost of a key, I could discard this card to use this key to activate that card. Um, for this instance, if I wanted to take this hostage into my inventory, I would need two cards or a card that provided these two search icons over here on the left. So hopefully we'll, we'll do that because Sergeant Pratt would be very helpful to have. Um, and then you just continue drawing until you can utilize the cards or until you actually um, you you engage with a terrorist. So the next one is another hostage. Um, it says to flip this card to add a um, D8 to a test roll. So that's pretty helpful. And this guy's name is Clarence. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't provide any resources for us to get Sergeant Pratt. Um, however, let's see what the next card does. It's the hallway. So this one does provide a search icon to be spent. So we can spend the search icon to get Clarence, which will allow us to flip this card to add a D8 to a test roll, in case you forgot. Um, so we can go ahead and do that. I think I will save save my search icon to get Sergeant Pratt because she is a much better um, uh, asset in terms of she can discard a terrorist card as it's drawn. So I will go ahead and, and push my luck a little bit. And here we have a terrorist. So I don't have to engage this terrorist right now because the cost is actually two noise icons, which basically look like two bells. So we have two noise icons that that's required to activate this terrorist. And when this terrorist is activated, we actually discard the rest of the other cards and only focus in on this terrorist who gets to um, attack me and I get to attack, attack him. So at this point, we're okay. We only have one bell icon and that bell icon can be seen here. It's in white. So you definitely won't miss it. Um, so I think, you know, as soon as I draw this card, if it has a second bell, unfortunately, that means this terrorist is activated. Um, but I, I'm willing to take that chance. And of course, this is the hallway, and it does have the bell activated, which means we discard all the other cards in the row. And you can see I missed out on Sergeant Pratt. So unfortunately, we're, we're out of luck with that one. We'll put that in the discard. And now we focus in on this terrorist. This terrorist in particular has three, and I have to roll die dice that can be equal to or greater than what is listed here in these numbers. So I have to uh, roll a total of three or more, um, whatever is available. I do have four that I can roll at a time, and hopefully we'll match these numbers or, or greater than these numbers to defeat this terrorist. So I'll go ahead and I will use three of my die and roll and see what happens. And it looks like it was a success um, because what I needed was a two, a three, and five, and I had the two and a five, five, um, which is great. Um, so I used this, used this up, and every time you fire a weapon, as I said earlier, you actually have to decrease your time. So I, go, I went ahead and did that. It doesn't matter how many, how many dice you roll, it's just that one shot, I shot three bullets, and it decreases by one. So now that this terrorist is dead, we get to draw three cards from the hunted row, uh, the hunted deck. So we'll draw three. And of these three, we can immediately put into our inventory here to the right of our player board, any events, items, or weapons. Um, I'm sorry, any events, items, or hostages. Events would not be able to be um, taken as inventory. Um, so I'm gonna leave the hallway here because it is a, a card that um, is a, a card that gives us a location. But we could take um, 
a smoke bomb. And I believe we can only... Let me just double check we could take both of them. Um, so let's see. All right. So if you win, it says... You may draw cards from the hunted deck equal to the number of terrorists on the card. If any of the drawn cards are an item, weapon, or hostage, you may immediately add one of them to your inventory for free. Slide the other cards back into the middle of the deck. Okay, so we won't actually keep the hallway here, but these are the choices we have. We have smoke bomb, hallway, smoke bomb. So we'll definitely keep a smoke bomb in our, in our um, inventory. And it says to shuffle it back into the middle of the deck, so I kind of cut the deck in half. Put it in the bottom and kind of just shuffled there a little bit and um, that's how I'm dealing with that. So now we just continue with with the rolling, uh, the drawing of the hunted, hunted deck. So here we have a grenade. This is an item that requires um, two search icons to pick up. All right, and then now we have a hostage, Mr. Kobayashi. Flip this card. Um, Flip this card to place any item card in the row into your inventory for free. So that's a pretty cool one to have. It is a hostage, so I can add this person to my inventory. But as you can see, there are two bell icons here in white, which means if I happen to draw a terrorist in my next draw of the hunted deck, that means I have to face that terrorist, and these get um, these will get, unfortunately, discarded, and I won't be able to access them. So I will give that a try. And of course it is a terrorist. Um, and this terrorist in particular will require two dice to attack. But then if it attacks me and I, I and it will automatically take a, um, a hostage from my inventory, which I actually don't have. So that's fine, that's fine. Um, so I'm going to discard these two cards into the discard pile. And we'll just focus on you know, getting rid of this terrorist. And I only have one die left here to attack. So I will need to spend an, an ammo icon to get um, the rest of them back. So I I want to be able to roll two. So um, and since I reloaded, I do lose a time. So we'll do that here. I'm at 18 time. Still at six health, which is fine. And then I'm going to roll my two die. And it is an exact success. I got a three and a four. So this person is defeated. Um, and I fire the weapon, which means I decrease by one time. I'm at 17 now. And so he gets me two, two cards to draw. And if any are weapons or hostages, I can pick, it up, pick, pick them up. But unfortunately, they're both um, location cards. So door and hallway will get shuffled back into the middle of the deck. And then we'll continue drawing from the hunted row, uh, hunted deck. And unfortunately, we still haven't seen these locations, so uh, things aren't looking that great. Um, but uh, let's just see how this goes. So this is a, a terrorist. I, I could always hide, and what hiding means is I discard the entire hunted row, and I lose um, a time. I decrease time. So that's that's a way I can avoid um, activating this. I'm drawing two noise symbols. So we have this distraction card. It is an item that I can take into inventory and then I can discard this card to reroll a die. That could be helpful, just like the, the chocolates here, um, except you can only roll one die, reroll one die here. All right, we have a door and this is the first bell icon that we have here. Um, I'll draw again. And luckily we have a hallway that does not give us a noise icon. So we're still okay. We're not noisy enough to alert this terrorist. But what I'm going to do is use this door because it has this um, icon here, the move icon, use this move icon to pay for this hallway and activate this hallway, which gives us one draw of the location deck. So we'll discard the cards we just activated, flip over the location deck, it's the elevator shaft. It says test, succeed and gain one time, or if you fail, take two damage. So I'll go ahead and do my test. 
which is just rolling my two test die, which is white. So I'll roll these two. And I failed the test. Um, and actually, I should mention to to have succeeded in this this test, I would have needed to roll a five or a six on either die, and I did not. So because I failed, I do take two damage. So now I'm at a four. Um, you know what? I I will I will undo that because I forgot I do have um, I have chocolate. So I will actually undo that and use my chocolate card to re-roll any number of dice I just rolled. So I will re-roll this, try to succeed. And <laughs> I failed, so that's that's fine. It's inevitable, I guess, that I lose two damage. I lose two health, so I'm at uh, four health, and that's that. Um, so I will keep going with the drawing of the hunted deck. And unfortunately, another trigger for um, having a terrorist engage with me is if there's two terrorists now in the hunted row, and there is. And the one with the higher, um, higher, uh, I guess, attack would be this one, and that's the one you keep and focus on. So the other cards in the row are discarded. And here we have to roll three die. I'm gonna have to use my ammo and bring back these and I'm gonna roll all four and see what happens so we have a six perfect a four and a three so we lose one time for that shot and it is a success which is great but I am running low on this handgun unfortunately um, I only have one one ammo left one reload left um, and I forget if I I don't think I decreased the time for my reload, so I'll go ahead and do that. So now I'm at 15. So this one gives me three, three card draws from the hunted deck. So we'll do that, one, two, three. And it looks like we only have this item, which is radio. Discard to draw three cards. If any are terrorists, discard them, reshuffle the rest. So I will definitely keep that and shuffle the rest into my deck. Let's see. So this next one is negotiate. So I have to do this test immediately. If I succeed, gain two time. If I fail, lose one time. So I roll my two white dice and I do succeed. There is one six here, so that's a success. So I gain two time. So now I'm back at 17. This gets discarded. And I continue drawing. And I got ambush. It's another test. So if I succeed, search the deck or discard pile for a radio. And then add it to your inventory. Reshuffle. And if I do fail, I'll take one damage. So I'll roll my two, two dice again. And unfortunately, I failed. So I had to take one damage. So now I'm down to, down to three, which is not good because now I only have one test dice. So that's that. Let's see. We have a hallway and a noise symbol. We have a door and another noise symbol. Let's see if we can, we can use the door because it has a movement icon. And this one requires a movement icon to activate. So I'm using, um, going to activate the hallway and it's going to get me one location. So I'll draw the location card, supply room. Um, so this one is interesting. It says you may lose one time to draw four cards. If any of them are an item, you may put it into your inventory and then you shuffle all other cards back into the deck. So since it says you may, and I'd rather not lose time, I think I'll go ahead and just not do that um, and continue. We have flashlight, and this is an item that I can use to discard to draw three cards. If you find a hostage, place it in your inventory and re reshuffle the rest. So that's cool. All right, we have a hallway, um, which I'm gonna I'm gonna activate again. I'm gonna use this this movement icon to activate the hallway, so we get one location card again. Um, and then we have vault. It's another test. Succeed and search the discard pile for any card and add it to your inventory, fail and lose three time. So we only have one die because we have three health. So let's see how this goes. And it's a four. So what I need is a five or a six. Um, let's see if I can use any of my uh, items here. 
and it does not look like I can. So unfortunately I do have to lose three time. So I'm at 14 and then that's that is resolved. I draw a hallway. I draw a regroup. Um, and I cannot use these right now. I think I'll keep going. Okay, we have um, a med kit, discard to lose one time and gain one health. And I think I will use regroup and med kit, these two move icons to activate hallway, which requires two move icons to activate. And then I draw a location card. We have the bathroom. It says you may lose one time to gain a regroup token. Um, regroup, I have to see what exactly that means. Let's see, regroup tokens, regroup cards can be activated from the hunter row by losing one time. When activated, a card grants you a regroup token. These tokens can be discarded after any die roll to add two to a die. So that, that's actually really helpful. It adds uh, two to the value of the die, which can help in tests and fights. So uh, I think I'll go ahead and lose the time to gain that one regroup token. And that just looks like a, an, a, a, a die icon with a plus two on it. And I apologize in advance if I'm using die and dice interchangeably because um, I'm actually confused on how to, to use that word correctly. Um, all right, so bathroom is resolved, so let's move on. We have explosion, a test. It says if you fail, take two damage. So let's hope this is a, a five or a six. Let's do this. It's a four. I feel like I didn't even roll. But I will use this regroup to add plus two. So I succeeded. And I don't have to take two damage or else I'd be dead. So that's that's good. I saved myself. We have this door. We have this distraction. Um, we have the two two noise icons here. So hopefully this won't be a terrorist. Ooh, three noise icons. So hopefully the next one won't be a terrorist. But let's see if we can utilize any of these cards first. Um, and it looks like we can. I think I will use this door that has the move icon to activate this distraction which requires the move icon and it is an item so i will take it into inventory and i will be able to discard this card to re-roll a die so that's going to be very helpful um so let's continue so we still have these two noise icons and this is a hostage called agent o'neill this one says you know flip this card to pay one less search icon for a weapon card in the row so that could be useful um let's see an event succeed and gain one time fail and fight a three um a three attack terrorist <sighs> okay let's see let's hope this is a better roll um let's do that and it's not um, but what can we do? Um, I'll discard my distraction to re-roll a die. I re-roll this, and it's five. So that means I succeeded, and so I gained one time. So I'm at 14. So that's resolved. And then let's see. I'll go here, and unfortunately it's a terrorist, so I have to discard this, the rest of the, the cards in a row. And now I have to roll... To fight it and I will use my ammo to reload it so I lose one time I'm gonna roll my you know I'm just gonna roll two and just push my luck here and see what happens Oop. drop the die there let me see if I can pick that up um I can't so I'll just use this one <laughs> all right so that was a one and a two so both of these failed unfortunately um but let me see. I can maybe use smoke bomb discard to add one d6 to a fight roll. Um, maybe I should have used that before because then I could have used an extra one. But anyway, I failed, so I do take a damage. And if I had a hostage, it would have also it would have been taken first before my damage. Um, oh, not I don't I don't lose. Well, I do lose time because I I shot my weapon, but I also lose. Um, one health so now I'm at two um, and then to try again I'm gonna have to just roll the rest of my my die here and hope for a three or a four 
and I got it. I got it. So <laughs> I don't have any any more weapons, but I, I succeeded and did not die. So I did a shot. So now I'm down to eleven time, and I get to draw two cards and hopefully throw weapons because I don't have any any good weapons here. Um. Well, at least I have discard to lose one time and gain one health. That's the med kit. So I'll put these guys right here and then I'll shuffle the, the other one back into the deck. Alright, and let's see. We have a hallway, smoke bomb. Um, so I'll use the smoke. No, I can't. I can't. I'll use. This hallway has a search icon which requires. Um, which is required for the smoke bomb to be taken. So I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Draw this. One noise icon. Um, I'll keep going. And of course, I have my two noise icons, which means the terrorist is activated and I had to discard these items. So this one, unfortunately, let's see, I can do a smoke bomb. I could discard to add one D6 to a fight roll. I'll go ahead and do that. And it's a smoke bomb. So um, I'm pretty sure that means I do have to decrease my time to 10. And unfortunately I got a two, which doesn't help. So I'm going to discard this card, decrease my time to nine. Because I'm pretty sure I have to do that for when I use a smoke bomb. Um, and I get my one D6 roll. Um, oh, well, actually, I'm, a, I'm already dead because I didn't defeat him on the first try. And that means I do get hit with one damage. So at this time, I am dead. So yeah, like I said, that was going to be a pretty quick playthrough of Hunted. Um... Yeah, I find this game really interesting because you do have to utilize the icons you see on the left side um, to the best of your ability and not spend it on something you may not need. Because um, meanwhile, these terrorists are coming out and they're going to be activated whether you like it or not. And so um, I think that's that's probably where I struggle most is that I want to try to get all these icons so I'm pushing my luck by drawing these cards but at the same time I'm... I'm activating all these terrorists. I don't have enough uh, ammo or items or weapons to help me um, defeat them. Um, but I, I, I like this game. I really like the aesthetics as well. Um, you know, the comic book look of, of the game, the, the blue, the black. Um, so it really spoke to me when I, when I first heard about this game. Um, and also, you know, it actually shipped pretty quickly. I, I unfortunately didn't get any tracking for this um, delivery of the game, which, you know, I, I do prefer to get tracking this way. You know, if it ever gets delivered to the wrong house, then I'm expecting it. And if I don't get it, then I, you know, I look around at my neighbor's house or something. Um, but in this instance, that didn't happen. Luckily, it got delivered into my mailbox. So um, everything was fine. But anyway, this is Hunted by um, Gabe Barrett, and this is the Kobayashi Tower. Um, all right, so maybe I'll do another playthrough when, once I'm better at this game. But um, in the meantime, you know, let me know your thoughts about about it. Did you did you get this game? Have you have you played it yourself? Have you played the other hunted games? Because there are there are actually other hunted games um, available, but uh, it doesn't say here. Um, and also, this this game did come with some extra extra cards, and um, I didn't end up putting them in. Actually, I'm not even sure what these are because they're red. I'm not sure. I think they belong to the other, the other game, not the one I have. So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.